Future Chemist. Today we are diving into the lab to learn how to prepare a 0.025 molar sodium hydroxide solution. This is a very crucial skill for any chemistry student and Coco Chem is here to guide you through it step by step. Make sure you are paying attention because there will be a pop-up quiz along the way to test your understanding and knowledge. First things first, let's gather our materials. You will need sodium hydroxide, pellets, a balance, volumetric flask, distilled water, spatula, stirring rod, and others. Before we start anything at all, if you need a refresher on measurement in chemistry and lab safety symbols, be sure to check out for the links in the description below. Before we do anything else, we have to check for the safety labels on the sodium hydroxide bottle. We have to make sure we are being safe in the lab. So first of all, what does this symbol mean? You are right. If you selected corrosive, it means sodium hydroxide can cause skin irritation or can corrode metals. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's dive in. Now, let's weigh out the sodium hydroxide pellets. But before we do that, always remember to zero or tear the balance. Quiz, why zero or tear the balance before weighing? If you selected the option A, that's right we tear the balance because we want to measure just the mass of the sodium hydroxide pellets once you've measured the correct amount remember that it's never a good idea to return any unused chemical into the original container why is it a bad idea to return unused chemicals into the bottle Exactly. Returning chemicals can introduce contaminants. Always dispose of unused chemicals properly. Now let's talk about significant figures. Do you remember the lesson on significant figures? If you need a refresher, again, please check the links in the description, okay? When measuring substances in the lab, it's always important to pay attention to the precision of your measurements. How many significant figures? are in 0.100 grams that's also correct if you selected option a because 0.100 grams has three significant figures precision is key in chemistry remember that okay now how about converting units this is a simple but crucial skill to have as a chemist. Now convert 0.101 grams to milligrams. Great job if you selected option A because 0.101 grams is equal to 101 milligram. Understanding conversions helps avoid mistakes in the lab. Thanks for learning with Coco Cap. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Remember, you've got this. Bye-bye.